Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today we're talking about something very important. The battery health of your iPhone and how to keep it at 100% for as long as possible. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to mention another very important thing and that's leaving a like on this video as it really helps out a lot. And also, if you didn't subscribe already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. When talking about batteries on devices, whether that be an iPhone or another device, there are two things you need to know. There are two different things, battery life and battery lifespan, which is basically battery health that you see on the settings of your iPhone. So battery life is the amount of time a device will run before it needs to be recharged while battery lifespan is the amount of time the battery will run until it needs to be replaced. Now, if you go to your settings and you go under battery here, you will have battery health. And right there, you will see maximum capacity. That's basically the health of the battery of your iPhone. If it's at 100%, of course, that means that the battery is very healthy and this is possibly a new device. Now, in this case, I have here my iPhone 12 Pro Max. It is two months old and I've been using it for two months daily. This is my daily and my main device, but it's still at 100%. Now, according to Apple, after 500 charging cycles, this should be down at 80%. But that, of course, based on the circum circumstances in which you use the battery and your device. And you can see mine is right now at 100%, even though I have 41 cycles on my device here, which is very close to the 10% of that 500 cycles. But I still didn't drop there a percentage at all. Now, this should be at around 98 or maybe even 99, but it's still at 100. So in this video, I will show you guys everything that will cause your battery's health to drop faster and of course how to prevent that from happening and how do i use my device and how do i charge it in order to maintain the maximum capacity of the battery at 100 percent now before i get into that you can see i showed you a screenshot here of the charging cycles of my device if you want to know yours i will let you know how to do that in a few minutes by the end of the video now first of all let's go ahead and talk about the causes of damaging the battery and what will make the battery percentage the battery health percentage drop really really fast now the most important one according to apple is heat now the iphone's battery will work best from like 32 to 95 Fahrenheit, that's zero to 35 Celsius. If you use your device for a longer time on a much like much hotter environment, it will damage the battery of your iPhone. Another thing is wireless chargers. Now, of course, if you use a wireless charger every once in a while, it won't do any damage to your device and the battery. But if you use them regularly, here I have one, which I've never used. I don't even know why I bought it. But if you use that regularly, that will, of course, damage the battery because it just has more heat to it. It will just bring out more heat while charging the battery. That way, that heat might damage the health of the battery. Now, it won't be anything like huge, but with time, you will see that the battery's health will decrease way, way faster than it would while charging it with a cable that, of course, comes with your device. Now, that's another thing. Always make sure that you have your cables and your chargers original from Apple, or at least you have ones that are certified and you know are legit. Don't go for the cheap ones because they might damage the battery as well. You can notice once you have like a cheap charger or a cheap cable and try to charge your device with it, you can see that it will actually heat up the device sometimes and that of course will damage the, the battery and drop the health of the battery. Heat is a very, very big enemy of your device and of course its battery. Another thing you should be looking for is heat that is coming from the processor of your device. So if you're playing like a very intense graphic game or you're doing something that's basically doing some heavy processing on your device, you will notice that the CPU will heat up a lot and that way will heat up your device 
that way it will also heat up the battery of course and again heat will damage the battery of your iphone so make sure if you see something that is heating up your device a lot make sure that you leave it to rest or something like that or if it's a game make sure that you use like lower graphics or something like that that won't just heat up the cpu that much and of course even if you have a case on it make sure that you remove it before you do any one of those heavy tasks on your device so what you should do to make sure that the battery health of your device stays at 100 for as long as possible and when it starts going down it goes down slower because of course it will start doing that because this is a lithium battery and its cap capacity will drop of course with time but you can keep it up and of course make it go down slower for as long as possible so here are a few things that i do first of all optimize battery charging always on i always keep this on every time because it's a lifesaver when it comes to battery what it does it will just fast charge your battery to 80 percent and then it will go to another stage from 80 to 100 which apple calls trickle charge basically charging your device way slower but this will of course extend the battery lifespan and this is according to apple you can find this info on their website which is of course very important another thing i do i always charge my device during the night i just plug it in leave it overnight that's no problem i know a lot of people say you shouldn't charge your device overnight you should do that devices nowadays and of course the batteries as well are very smart they cannot overcharge or something like that so make sure you plug in your device leave it to charge overnight and that won't be a problem at all and another thing i do i never let my device go really low on battery like i see a lot of people their devices are just shutting down because they don't have any battery at all i never leave the battery of my device to go down that much the maximum it can, it can go down is maybe like 30 or 40 percent i always try to charge it even during the day not just the night when i have time or when i'm in my computer or my macbook i just plug it into charge and make sure it never goes down really really low and as i said always make sure that you use the original or a certified apple charger now another thing that you should know if you're trying to maybe store a device somewhere that you don't need or you don't want to use for a certain time according to apple it is the best practice to store your devices with the battery charged at 50 percent do not fully charge and do not fully discharge the battery of the device if you want to store it so according to apple if you just completely discharge the battery the battery could fall into a deep discharge state and basically just never turn on again so if you're storing a device make sure that you do it with the battery charged at 50 percent and last but not least let me show you guys how you can find the battery cycles of your device so basically a battery cycle is a charge from zero to 100 and then that discharge so 100 percent charge and discharge that's a cycle even that might be maybe you, let's say you charge your battery from zero to 50 percent and you drain that you charge again from zero to 50 again and you drain that then that's a full cycle so you cannot skip that every 100 percentages there is a cycle of battery so if you want to find that out for your device this is very important if you're trying to buy a device that's used from someone you can know how many times it has been charged so according to apple after 500 cycles your battery should be at around 80 percent health but that of course it's not the same for all devices so you go to settings and you go under privacy here make sure you go to analytics go to analytics data and just go ahead and scroll down here so just grab that slider right there and search for log aggregate so right here we'll find log aggregate and make sure you go to the last one it should say the today's date and here just go ahead and select a word at the top right there and make sure you select this complete text that's on this page right here and you will find it here but first make sure of course you select this so yeah here i have the text selected now click copy go back go to notes and just paste this and now what you need to do once the text is pasted tap on the three dots on the node tap on find in node and here make sure you search for battery cycle count 
and here it is battery cycle count you can see right there and just underneath it you will see this little number right there you can see it says 41 that means that my battery has 41 cycles that it has been through already so of course you will have a different number there just like this you can learn about the battery cycles of your device so that's pretty much it for this video guys this is what you should do with your device to make sure that you keep the battery health at 100 percent for as long as possible and of course slow down the aging of your battery so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one